Right guys, welcome back to the Let's Play on Streets of Rage 4. So, we arrived at stage 7, ladies and gentlemen, and we're on a moving train. And with this comes a new hazardous environment. We've got to jump over that barrier at a perfect time. Honestly, it's quite ridiculous to time up there. For beginner luck over, over here, first time going on with this, I didn't do too bad. Especially with a big fella like Floyd, I think his kneecap still hits that barrier. If anything, guys, that barrier should be knocked down because of Floyd. Honestly, that barrier against Floyd, I, I, I put my money on Floyd any time of day. But you can see Biggs, Briggs didn't have a good time over there. He's lost almost half his health just because of them barriers alone. So, yeah, definitely wanted to use that environment onto your advantage. A lot of enemies coming forward in this claustrophobic environment you don't have much room of maneuver you literally just can up and go up and down about four steps and then you're gonna bump into somebody and to be fair guys this is actually the shortest level on the game i believe like stage seven there's not much going on you're pretty much on this moving train and then the bosses come in it is that simple so even though I felt like, you know what, it, it's a unique idea. I, I would like to have seen them done a bit more with this stage. If anything, it gives me a bit of remnants about Streets of Rage 3 um, level where a moving van or like bulldozer, I can't fully remember, comes forward and you got smashed into these walls and it was a boss level. I honestly hated that as well. I literally found it ridiculously hard to time. But it's one of them things, guys. I don't, I, I, I don't know about you, but for me, it, it, it's, it gives that vibe off as well. But yeah, we've got a lot of the police forces over here taking care of businesses. The barriers are still knocking them out as well. And then obviously you've got the syndicate members, so you can use that to your advantage. But here we go, ladies and gentlemen. We have got the boss of Stage 7. Say hi to Estelle once again. She's back. The Streets of Rage uh, female Rambo. Honestly, I, I said it once, I'll say it again. She is probably the most powerful uh, boss that you can go up against up until this point. Uh, she is quite... I say she's quite fast in the way that she moves and also at the same time because she obviously got the grenades being chucked in. The, the fact that she calls him back up as well. It's kind of hard to go up against her without you know taking a few hits and blows. But let us know what you guys think of her still. Like, have you, have you found a way to you know outmaneuver her i try my best i think at the beginning to just pretty much try to grapple her as much as possible and chuck her about so we can use that to the advantage she is she is definitely doing a lot of damage with the combinations though and what, as soon as she hits though guys she, she doesn't hit you once she literally comes in with a good amount of combinations so she's calling it back up and we've got commissioner so we've got two main bosses on the same level uh, it's gonna be ridiculous, but here we go. We've got both of these big boys to take care of One thing I would point out though quickly guys. I didn't even though it looks pretty much obvious I didn't know up until this point as long as you focus on Estelle and finish her off the commissioner will Pretty much be disappeared as well He will be eradicated along that process because Estelle is the main boss the commissioner is kind of like the sub boss just to help her out the enforcer but yeah um I think I think you've still got to keep a good eye on the commissioner though, because at the end of the day, you don't want to turn your back up against him where he comes in with his flying forearm. But both me and Briggs seem to have found a flaw over here. It, it, either one of them are pretty much taking damage. Commissioner's almost gone. It's still richly on the last bit of her health as well. Commissioner's gone. Been wiped out. Good combination onto me. And there we go, we finished it off, stage 7 is cleared, literally that fast people, what was it about, 3-4 minutes, that, that is literally the shortest stage in my eyes, 4 minutes 14 seconds, what are we going to get, B, B is not bad, I think it's decent, first time round, got a B rating on it, uh, what do you reckon, probably Briggs didn't take that much hits on the barrier, we probably would have got a bit more, but he, I'll take it, we're moving on forward, so... Let's have a look, see what the cutscene's all about now. Okay, so we're going to try to uh, negotiate with Estelle and make her see the truth. Open her eyes. Walk. She needs to be walking. Okay, here we go. Mr. White is back. It's hanging off a helicopter. Shoot him. Okay, so it looks like Mr. Vi doesn't care about the civilians. F just absolutely RPG'd a train apart. 
So we're going to hit the art gallery, guys. I'll see you on part eight. Peace.